my composite mold mold <laughs> is completely cold now and solid. It's not sticky anymore. I guess that's how you can tell it's really ready to go, that it's not sticky. And it looks awesome. I'm if if this was not a honeycomb, you can see all these bubbles here. If this was not a honeycomb, I would be really upset about all these bubbles because a lot of my mold is actually missing where the bubbles were. There's like, let's see. See how there's a piece of that one missing and uh, like these? Totally gone. Let's see here. If I can get it on camera. Totally gone. They're not even filled in because there were so many bubbles in here. For this project, it actually works because honeycombs aren't perfect. You know, so it looks like there's honey in some places and not honey in other places. So it, it works for this project. But in general, if I had a mold that turned out like that, I'd be really, really upset. So now what I want to do is take my creative paper clay. And I keep mine in Glad Press and Seal because it's air dry clay and I don't want it to dry out. And the Press and Seal works a lot better than Ziploc bags. I used to use Ziploc bags for a long time. And uh, then found out about Press and Seal and I haven't gone back to Ziploc bags because this is just so much better. So I'm just going to stick this off to the side. So I'm going to take my creative paper clay and just condition it a little bit. And if you find that it does start to dry out, you can just add a few drops of water to it and it, it moistens right back up, which is what I'm going to do right now. All right, now I want to roll out my paper clay and I want it, whoops, fairly even, um, as even as I possibly can because I want to make an ATC with my paper clay. I want to make the ATC out of paper clay. So I'm just going to spread that out a little bit and then I need to measure it to make sure it's going to be large enough. You know, an ATC is two and a half by three and a half. And right now, at the most narrow part, I would be okay. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to take my paper clay and lay it onto my mold here. And I'm just going to take my rolling pin. I'm going to wet the rolling pin because I don't want it to stick my clay and I'm just going to roll this out and press it down as I go I'm applying a good bit of pressure here but not so much that it's going to tear the clay because it's pretty thin clay and now just peel it off and I have a honeycomb. Now, the clay did not really go down into the grooves of my mold. These are really teeny tiny itty bitty little grooves. And I think if I used something like a resin and poured it in here, um, I would get the exact shape. But because this is so tiny, the paper clay has a hard time getting down in there. However, this still looks like a honeycomb. And on here, you can really see where there were bubbles and where there weren't. This is a bubble. So you can see how it's filled in there. It's because there was um, there was no no distinct shape there because the, the there was a bubble. However, over here, all of this these are good because there were no bubbles. But that's a bubble. That's a bubble. So you can really see them. And you know, if this was not a honeycomb, I'd be really upset about that. But it works for this. Now, um, oh, let me show you the composite mold while I'm talking about it. This is the actual container of the composite mold. I still never did show you that. <laughs> and this is the 20 ounce container. And the directions are on here, but it also comes with a flyer that's got the instructions and then a few extra tips and all that on there. All right, so now what I want to do is cut my ATC shape out of my paper clay because I need to get the rest of it back into the... Um, Glad present seal. There, now I have my two and a half by three and a half shape cut out. So what I want to do is lay this completely flat and let it dry. And I'm actually going to go pop this in the oven to let it dry out a little bit quicker. And then once it's dry, I will come back and decorate it. 
There we go. My card is completely dry now. My little paper clay ATC. And now I want to start painting it. So I'm going to take some Naples Yellow. These are just Liquitex Basics. And a little bit of Raw Sienna. And I want to start painting my card and I'm going to kind of blend the colors in a few places. And just get some good coverage on there, completely color, paint the whole thing. And I want it to look like a honeycomb, so I'm trying to use honey colors. But it's not going to be exact, but this is just the first layer, so it's okay. We're just going to keep building on this. And make sure you get down into the little grooves, into all those little recessed places. go and you don't want one uniform color you want it to be varied so you want some lighter spots and some darker spots okay I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun and then I'll be back now I'm gonna take some Perlex powders and I have a yellow and a copper and a gold and I'm just gonna mix these with some crystal lacquer. You could use glossy accents. You just need a binder. Now you just mix it together to create your paint and it's kind of give and take. You add, you, you know, you add some pat, pigment powder and then you add more crystal lacquer if you need to and just back and forth, back and forth until you get the color and consistency that you want. I'm just going to blend that really well to get all of that pigment powder mixed in. Now that my paint is mixed in, I'm going to take this yellow and brush it over most of the ATC. If I have enough paint mixed up, I'll do it over the whole thing, but if not, I'm not going to worry too much about it. It doesn't need to be completely covered. And again, I'm really getting it down into those grooves. And I only mixed up a little bit. I'm only using whatever I had mixed up. I'm not trying to completely cover the whole ATC here. Okay. Now I'm going to use a palette knife to apply the copper because I just wanted to cross the tops of these little honeycomb shapes. And this I will probably cover the whole ATC if I can. If I if I can, if I can't, then oh well, then it's okay than it was meant to be. And it's not going to completely cover all of those little honeycombs anyway. It's going to bounce and skip and be erratic and that's good. That's what I want. Because honeycombs are not exactly perfect. I mean, they're pretty close to perfect, but <laughs> this is an art honeycomb, so it's not, it's not going to be perfect. Now I hit this with the heat gun, but it still looks really shiny and it still looks sticky and wet. You can see all the shiny bits there. And that's just from the Pearlex powder being mixed with the crystal lacquer. It gives you that really shiny look, which is perfect for a honeycomb. Now I'm going to take some Distress Stickles, and this is Scattered Straw. And there are still a few dull looking places, and so I'm just going to take some of this Stickles and fill in some of those dull spaces. I'm not going to do the whole card. I just want to kind of, you know, dot it here and there. And I'm going to fill in some of these little honeycombs with the stickles. And only the more, the more dull looking ones. I don't want to cover up 
the pearl X that I've just added, I just want to go over some of those places that are still just the, the Liquitex paints. They're kind of dull compared to the rest of the honeycomb, so I'm going to fill those places in with the stickles. And it looks so much like honey. I'm so excited. Now what I want to do is add my finishing touch. I have a little, oops, I have a little paper bumblebee here, and it was just cut out of scrapbook paper. And um, it's one of those embellishments that you can buy in the little package. I think it was Kay and Company or something like that. And it was just paper, and then I covered him, coated him with glossy accents and let it dry, and you can see how shiny it is now. So it looks like one of those... Um, glassy coated 3D looking embellishments, but I made it myself. And I have a kind of flat spot right here on the corner of my honeycomb, which is perfect because I'm going to take some crystal lacquer. I've got a pretty big little puddle of it there. And I'm going to stick my little bumblebee right into the top of it. And I've kind of bent his wings a little bit so they're not completely flat. They, they're they folded up a little. So they come up off of the ATC. Not sure if you can see it, but they do. And now I want to let this crystal lacquer dry. And because it's clear, it'll just blend in and you won't even be able to tell that there's a puddle of glue underneath my little bumblebee. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll do that to add the very final touch. My finishing touch is a pretty little quote that I found that says, life is the flower for which love is the honey. And I just want to write that out. And now I'm just going to mix up a little bit of the solid gold Pearl X powder and some crystal lacquer. Just to give it a little bit of color, just so it's not white against the rest of my honeycomb. Now I'm going to paint over this with a coat or two of my gold pearl X mixture. And I've got some little red flakes from some paint that was already on my palette and that's alright. And now I'm going to glue this on to the bottom of my honeycomb. Now the last thing that I want to do is go over my text here, just like I did the little bumblebee with the, um, like I did with the glossy accents, I'm going to use the crystal lacquer. It's going to tie it in, and also, if I go off the edge just a little bit, help to keep my little paper text here glued down, because these little ridges don't really allow me to get a good grip on the glue. So I'm just going to kind of fill in these honeycombs a little bit with the glue and cover over my text so it will make it shiny and like one of those little glossy embellishments. Just going to go over the whole thing and now once this dry my ATC is be will be done. I love this. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm really really happy with that. So now all I need to do is let this set and dry for probably about, I don't know, six or seven hours, and it should be good to go. I will take photos and post them at the end of the video. I hope you like this project. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. That's the finished product, and I hope the photos show 
the great color and shine that I got on this honeycomb. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you try out the composite mold and some creative paper clay with it. And if you make this same project or something similar, I'd really love to see what you do. So share your photos and comments down below and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye!